If you like my video, please call to subscribe my YouTube channel and enable notification so that you can get my latest technical analysis in timely. Good evening everybody. My name is Jason Wong. Today I would like to share technical reading on Cinetop 8532. Before I go into detail, let me explain why right? this video actually I would like to do a following up on the video which I record on 40 MA um, whereby I did share this stock which is forming way 3 slash 3 of 3 and typically uh, this is a very bullish kind of a wave form and I'm this bidding will target to reach 60 cent okay falling by 75 85 cent now after five days later, now I would like to do a following up. Okay, now what happened is now is like we do see a hammer form at the support level, which is a uh, 38 and half cent, 40 cent. Okay, I would like to explain that typically when the support found at this critical level. Especially when we see the hammer down there. Based on the past experience, the upward trend likely will happen soon. Okay, I will go into the next level of detail. Okay, on what is hammer and where is the support line, and I will share with you guys. My immediate target is same as last week, which I'm sharing, which is six cents, seventy-five cents, and eighty-five cents. Now, Ilewave very simple and effective technical analysis whereby the chartists would like to use to do the and forecast the trend right and the terminology called impulse wave and collective wave meaning we have an uptrend right upswing main trend is called impulse wave typically there's a three impulse wave which is wave one wave three and wave five and Collection waves is two and four, and when coming to the extends, right, we do see a extended wave happen either in one, three, and five, and I do see similar top likely have a extended wave three, which is under development, and let's go on to the next page, right? This is what I drew on the last week. And while it's break about 45 and a half cent and it's confirmed, right? Validated is a way 3 of 3 or either way 2 of C is a happen. Again, heading to the target of 60 cent and around this this level. So now today what happened is uh, there's a gap out, right? Typically um I do spell up the resistance level is about 54 54 cent. It's uh, rejected by the resistance then come back down to this uh, um, support line right whereby you can you can do the top right followed by this top we do see the like a pattern or triangle formation you break above this then come back to test this support now right, which is about 38 to 40 cent now and uh, today is forming a hammer at this support level which is an indication there is a a uh, buying interest is uh, coming in okay and uh, in fact myself I bought I bought at this uh, level which is a uh, 42 cent and somehow it break 40 cent today and uh, whereby I uh, forced me to do the stop loss right around 39 39 cent yes that's right then right after that is come to test this level whereby it's validated again right it's a support rebound it's rebound back to like a uh, 40 cent level then come back i didn't i look at this likely we go you have a support level uh, it's a validator that's why i uh, buy back what i sold in fact i buy back higher a bit right and uh, which is uh, 39 and half cent and in fact it's round up i my cost still at 42 cent okay right because of um, I, I cut loss then i buy back one bit higher it's about 42 cents now you're looking at 
this uh, chart setup, you're looking at it like a uptrend, right? You look at here, connected the upper trend line and the lower trend line is like kind of like keep forming the higher high, no? And the higher low. And that's why I'm saying it's uh, likely going to be upswing, it's, it's going to happen soon. And, and yet we buy at the, I bought at the uh, quite near the support level, right? Which is uh, going to be give me a good deal in terms of the risk to reward again the reward it should be a target about 62 cents of course we need to watch out for the resistance level now how I how I focus to the uh, price projection if it basically is use a Fibonacci extension right I probably can make a next video or subsequent video to share about how we going to how I use to uh, use the Fibonacci to do the uh, price forecast. Now, next one to is my trading plan. Like and uh, immediate target remain the same, 60, 75, 85 cent. Immediate resistance is same, 54, right, 63 and 75 cent. Immediate support become like 40, 38 and 33 cent. This, this is a critical support level whereby we build our trading plan. These are the level we are looking at. I, I bought a 50, uh, 42 cent originally. Break, break um, 40 cent. I cut 39. I see support around from about about 38 level. I come back to rebound and I buy back again. It's round up my cost still like my as of now is like entry same like entry, um, which is 40, 42 cent is close. I will stop loss if there is a um, support level broke below 38. Send. Thank you. Listen to my sharing. I, and uh, if you want to learn more, uh, please subscribe my video. And I'm sure I will share more and more video. And I'm a, a Sam Point full time trader. And many technical analysis you can find in the uh, looking in the website. But I can share with you is my experience. There's a uh, prices, you know. And uh, thank you very much. And um, please go to subscribe the video channel YouTube. If you like my technical analysis sharing, please go to like and configure C first so that you can get my latest technical analysis in timely.